All right. Let's keep going. All right, so after I got my Dream 100, the next step here is I got to figure out, like, what's what's my system? Okay, everyone's got a system. I look at I look at Jesse back here. He's got his ethical cult building system where he's taking someone through his system, right? I look at Tony Robbins. He has a system for teaching people how to do whatever what he's selling, right? I look at uh, Laura Langemeyer. I look at... Um, I look at, um, I mean, think about any, any of the, the people, look at Jillian Michaels, look at, um, any of the people you study, any people that, any of the gurus, the experts that you follow. Okay, I'm guessing right now you probably got 10, 15, 20, um, experts that you follow on Facebook, right? What's their system? What's the process they take somebody through to get the result that they want? Okay. That's what I talk about when you're thinking like, what's your system? Okay. Now, the first time I ever did this, because I like, said, so when I first got started online, I was selling software. And I was having some success with it. And then one person came up to me and was like, hey, um, we're doing this event. We'd love for you to come and speak at the event and teach what you're doing. And I was like, all right, that'd be fun. I've never spoken before. And I honestly was scared to death. I, I was like, it's funny because now like I've, for the last 10 years I've been speaking a lot. So I, I've, I still speak way too fast and I slur my words and I say um and stuff way too much. But I'm pretty comfortable. I've been doing this for long enough that that I, I feel comfortable in my skin and I feel like I, I can speak all right, okay? But prior to, to this, I, I had no experience. I was scared to death of people. And so he asked me to come speak at an event and, uh, and I said yes. And I decided I was gonna put on a little tiny workshop the day before for some of, the, some of my customers who were gonna come to the event, okay? And so I messaged out and had about eight or nine people who were supposed to come to this little workshop. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna just share some of my ideas and share kind of what I've done to build my business and then I'll speak the next day. And so that was kind of the, the thought process, and, uh, and I put it out there. And uh, what was cool is, is from that, uh, that event, uh, I showed up, and I had this little room reserved, and, and I had this guy who had a video camera who showed up, and he set a video camera up in the back. And then uh, I went upstairs to get dressed, and back then, you know, I, I always wear, like, my suit and tie because I thought that was, like, how professional business people are supposed to be. And so I put on my suit and tie, and I come down, and I'm expecting there to be seven or eight people in this room. So I come down, and uh, when I do, I, I walk in, and there's not seven or eight people. Those seven or eight people who were supposed to be there were at the bar before, waiting for the event to happen. They saw a bunch of other people who were going to be attending the event the next day, and they're like, hey, guys, um, we uh, are going to this thing that Russell's doing tonight. You should come and just check it out. And so they told their friends, they told their friends, and I show up, and there's 50 people in this room, 50 people. And I am, like, literally scared to death. I walk in, I was like, ugh. And I had nothing planned, nothing prepared. All I knew is that I was going to go and – and potentially I was just going to go and uh, and just kind of just ask do Q&A with, with this little tiny group. But because there were so many people and I said, I, I probably should have a presentation. So I walk in, I see all these people and I say, hey, you guys, I'm going to be getting started in about five minutes. I left my presentation upstairs. I'll be right back. And I run into the elevator. The elevator shuts and I start just sweating bullets. I'm like, I've got 50 people I got to present to and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. And I was I was scared. I was nervous. All these emotions were going through my through my mind, right? I'm like, I got to figure out a way to, to create something that, so when I'm down there speaking, there's some coherence to that whole concept, right? And I said, you know what? Uh, let me go. So I went back to my room, grabbed a pad of paper. And I said, okay, now if I was going to start with someone, like a brand new client, let's say, and I'm going to take them through, like what would be the process I would take them through? I said, well, step one, I would do this. Step two, I would do this. Step three, I would do this. And I kind of walked them through the system, like the system that I, that I would take somebody through. After I wrote down probably the, the 10 or so little bullet points in my system, I was like, well, the event's starting. I'm kind of out of time. Let's go. So I walked downstairs. I come down my one, pad of, my one sheet of paper. I sat in front of the audience and I said, thanks, everyone, for coming to the workshop. Excited to have you guys here. I'm going to take you through this system that's going to teach you this. All right, step number one is this. I took my first bullet point. I shared that was. I talked my way through it. And then, boom, I taught that first bullet point. Then I taught bullet point number two and then number three. And I did that for about two hours. And the end of two hours, I taught my system, okay? And that was the first time I ever created a system. Um, and so for you guys, I want you kind of thinking like, what, what's your system? And, uh, and so a couple of things I want to show you real quick. Um, the first thing is that I like calling these your system outline. Like what's the outline of your system? What's it look like? And the easiest way for me to think about it is picture that you're going to write a book on on your system. Now, I don't want any of you guys writing a book because it's a horrible, horrible, horrible process. Um, I literally spent eight years trying to write a book. I finally started writing one and I had a ghostwriter helping me through the whole process and, um, and it still was like the most painful thing I've ever created and it was, it was hard. So you're not gonna actually write a book. I promise you it'll be way easier than that. But think about it as if you were writing a book, okay? And the first thing you do to write a book is what? 
if it's, if it's a how-to book, you're writing a table of contents, right? So that's the way to start is act like you're writing a table of contents of whatever it is you're going to teach. Now, if you have no idea kind of what you want to teach even, then go to Barnes & Noble or Borders or I, I guess if, I don't know if those companies are still in, in – if they're still around. Um, we still got one of them here in Boise. Um, or you can go to Amazon, whatever it is, and go buy three or four or five books on your topic. And when they come, when you get them, look at the table of contents of all of them. And you're going to find out really, really quickly what are other people teaching on this, this topic. Okay, I love going and buying uh, the dummies books, like dummies guide for whatever, because all those dummy guides have like the most amazing comprehensive table of contents in the world. Okay, and so you're going to go and from that, look at all this stuff and then figure out like what, what's your system going to be? What are the steps you're going to take somebody through? What's the first thing and then the second and then the third? Okay, for example, when I started creating uh, this training for you guys, guess what I did? You're never going to guess. I created a system outline. Here's my system outline for this training. Okay, here's what's required. Boom. Step number one, what's your superpower? Okay, step number two, who are you guys going to serve? Okay, does this look familiar? This is what have been going through you guys for the last, what, two hours, an hour or so. And this was the system outline I created for Expert Secrets. Okay, and from there I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can go and create PowerPoints and videos and training. But for right now, all you need is a system outline. Okay, what I want to do right now with you guys is I'm going to go with this list hacking or life hacking secrets. Okay, so this is... This is a new project I'm putting, I'm doing, and it's in a completely diff different market than I've ever been in before. Okay, I've sold a lot of like how to make money stuff, a lot of other things, but I've never done like kind of a personal development thing. So I'm going to do it right now with you guys, so you can see the process I go through. Now this this process will typically take me longer to do, um, but I'm going to kind of do it in a fast process. But you'll see how like I'm going to do a lot of like blah blah blahs and, and fill in the blanks here. But I would go through. I'd probably spend three or four hours really flushing this out before I got started. And you guys should as well. Okay, so first thing I do is I put in like what's what's the the title of what my thing you okay for me it's usually whatever my domain name is so lifehackingsecrets.com boom there it is now I usually like, like try to teach things in in uh, like six module six modules that's how I typically do most of my trainings you know so what I'm gonna do is like I'm, I'm picturing like, if I'm gonna take somebody through this life hacking process like what are the what are the like like what would be the process so I would say module number one the first thing that I would do is I would have to teach people how to do speed learning. Okay, because the the hardest thing with like with like life hacking and really getting huge results in, in any a aspect of your life fast is you have to like accumulate a lot of knowledge quickly, and most people like just are, don't know how to speed learn. Okay, um, they never taught me that in school, which is why I struggled through school. So I learned how to speed learn. Um, I was able to literally I, I can get a book done in in an hour. Um, I can go through an entire book. I can pull resources. I can learn stuff really really quick now because I've learned some really cool speed learning things. So some of the things that, that I've learned inside there, um, double your reading. So that's a, it's a process we take someone through to to, to, to learn how to speed read. Um, the one of my dream one hundred people here is a guy named Howard Berg, who's a friend. So I might have him on one of my training calls because he's awesome. So Howard is awesome. Um, you got to understand memory, memory retention. Um, I've got a guy, I can't remember his name right now. Speaking of memory, uh, I forget his name, but he's the Guinness Book of World Records for uh, for memory. So I'm going to be a memory guy. I met this guy at, at a Tony Robbins event. He walked up to me in the middle of the hallway and he stopped me and said, Russell Brunson. I said, yeah, how'd you know that? He's like, he's like, I'm the Guinness Book of World Records for the best memory in the world. He's like, one time I saw one of your web pages. I'm like, serious? How cool is that? And I was like, and we started, we started kind of talking about stuff. I said, how about this, dude? I'm going to give you my phone number right now. And if you can remember it, I want you to call me in 60 days from now. And if you remember it, I'm going to, I'm going to invite you to my next, uh, my next high-ticket training program. And he's like, all right. So I told him my phone number. He remembered it. And two months later, sure enough, he called me. And it was awesome. So I can't remember his name right now, but that, that's who that is. Howard Berg is the world's fastest reader. Uh, he's the one that taught me and my team how to do speed reading, memory retention. Um, uh, there's this guy named Jim Muckle. Uh, he does uh, mind mapping which is really cool for like retention, for creating products and stuff. So probably have Jim be a cool person to do. Um, let's see. Yeah, that probably, that probably be the core things. Again, I would flesh that out more, but see, I've got like, here's my, the core of the module. And then what are things inside? I want to teach speed reading, I want to teach memory retention, mind mapping. Here's some people who are probably better experts than me at that individual topic. So I might grab them to do some stuff inside. I'm not sure yet, but just kind of putting those names down, right? Next is like energy hacking. So this is like how like yesterday, for example, guys, I did a seven and a half hour webinar and at the end of it, I felt awesome. Like I had so much energy and I wasn't tired. I hadn't eaten anything. Like I still felt good. And I most think most people understand that. So 
energy hacking, like um, the process, the parts of that are like a lot of it is um, is is diet related. So understanding fats, understanding fats and diet. Um, so people like uh, Dave Asprey would be really cool to have on that one um, as part of a training. Um, okay. Um, supplementation. Supplementation is really cool. Um, also like uh, hormone optimization or hormone, hormone op optimization. So these are all things that I would, I would want to take someone through. And some of you guys, this is probably exciting for you guys. Some of you guys are like, life hacking is boring to me. But for me, it's really exciting. And so, so that's why, again, why I want to create a product about it. But these are like all things that I went through on my journey to learn this stuff. Module number two, so energy hacking. Okay. And then, so my hormone optimization, there's a guy named Caleb, who is awesome. Um, probably bring him on. Some limitations. Caleb's really good at that too, so I might combine those. So I'll make it do both. Okay. Um, so there's module number two. And again, I'd flesh that out more, but understanding the fats is big. Oh, I think um, uh, understanding juicing is huge. It's been huge for me as well. Juicing, which is uh, Drew. Um, Drew would be my juicing guy. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's module number two, right? Then we go module number three. Number three. Um, so energy hacking. So next I'd probably do is like, so someone, <laughs> to be successful in all these areas I want to focus on, they got to learn how to read fast. And they got to increase their energy. Um, then the next thing is they got to, they got to understand like, um, uh, like how to, like how to make money. So, um, because most of them right now are, are making money. So I definitely have some kind of system for making money in there. So let's say we call it, um, oh, I'll call it Expert Secrets because I have nothing else to think of right now. <laughs> Expert Secrets. Now, this is more like something I'm really good at, so I could just do all this one. It's Russell stuff. Cool. All right, now module number four. Number four would be the next thing, right? And I just keep going through here, you guys. And like, so typically I like doing like six module courses. Module number six. And there's a couple reasons why. One of them is, oops. In the past, I've done, mo I've done trainings that were like 20 modules. Because I'm like, I need all these things in there. And usually by like module six, I want to kill myself. Um, and so I try to bulk them together and make them like six things. Um, also, like a lot of people do four four modules, but the problem with four modules is usually if you sell something, you're gonna have like a 30 day guarantee, and um, and so if you unlock a new module each week, I don't want them after four weeks being like sweet I got all the goods and then canceling. I want to push them through the rebuild um, or through the, the the refund period, and so I want them to to still want those last two modules, and so that's why I usually do six. Um, I think Liz did six for her um, for her webinar as well, if I if I remember right. Okay. All right. So anyway, so I would go through this. So I pick six. And again, top of my head, I don't have the other ones right now. But you see, where I'm going, going for someone to to really life hack themselves and get to the point where they they're feeling great, they look great, um, they're 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 smarter, their energy's up, all these different things. Like, what are the what would be the process I take someone through? And this is what I would do. Step one: I get them to read fast, help them re, uh, retain more, and help them learn how to mind map. That'd be the first thing to really hack their life. Number two: they gotta have more energy. Most people are so like lethargic, they can't even. The stand up, boom. So that'd be the next one. Then they need more money. Then they may need more enter, or more maybe it's diet or exercise, whatever the next piece is, right? And I would finish out all six. Okay, does that make sense to so you guys? That's how I create my system outline. And if you guys have not done this yet, this is like one of the most important things. And uh, definitely spend some time tonight or tomorrow, start mapping this thing out because as soon as you have this, this is the foundation where everything else comes off of, okay? Now, what I like doing after I kind of um, after I map this whole thing out, is I like giving everything kind of a title. So instead of just module one speed reading, I like being uh, speed learning, I change it to how to um, double your learning in uh, in a weekend. Uh, in, uh, now I don't know if that that topic is or that title is even any good at all. It, it probably is horrible. I'm just. In fact, I'm sure I would change that, but just for really quick, right? How to, okay? Module number two now, how to. So um, how to, how to, um, how to, uh, I can't even think right now, double your energy, or let's say how to, how to, um, how to 
how to never be hungry, lose weight, and increase energy. Now I probably I probably title some like energy N E R energy hacking. Boom. So now it's number two. But see, what I'm trying like each of these modules. I'm trying to turn it into a how-to, and I'll explain why here in a second. Um, but I'm trying to turn each one into a how-to, um, and uh, and there's a lot of reasons behind that. But one of one of the main reasons is because how-to stuff just works. People people want to learn how to do stuff. That's what we're selling you, right? You're an expert teaching somebody how to do something. So how-to is like the the key to this, right? Um, and so that's that's the first step in this process that I want you guys to understand. Is it's got to be something how-to related. All right. And, uh, and so that's how that's going to be. Then each of these, I'd even dig deeper and make this how to double your reading, how to increase your memory retention, how to, and I'm going to go through that whole thing and try to make all these things as many as possible into how to's. Okay. And, uh, and the, the main reason why you guys is right now what I'm helping you guys build out is kind of like your, your flagship product, right? A product you can sell for anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars or more. Okay. And so what I'm doing with this is I'm kind of teaching my entire system, right? This entire thing becomes my, my system. Okay, and that's again what the focus of this this training is going to be. But as you guys kind of progress with us and the stuff that we're doing, you see the the other things I'm going to be teaching you guys is eventually I'm going to want more funnels than just a webinar funnel. Maybe I I want like a, a funnel to get new customers in. So I might make a funnel that all it is is a product that's teaching you how to double your learning in a weekend. That might be one product with a with a product and an upsell and downsell. That might be one funnel that I create. And this one right here might be one funnel I create. Okay, so I want to be able to take my, my system and I break it out and, and use it in a lot of different ways. Okay, for example, for those of you guys who are in my $25,000 group, you know that my whole dot-com secret system, it's kind of like, it's this big, huge system, right? We do workshops every, every three or four months kind of walking through the system, the next part and the next part. And, and I, can, I can spend like, you know, days teaching the entire system, but then I break out just specific parts. Like for example, our last workshop, I did a I did a two hour presentation on expert secrets. Where now I'm coming in, we're doing a four or five or six hour long presentation on expert secrets. Where I'm diving in a lot more depth and a lot more detail, and I can sell it separately. Okay, because if you want my entire dot com secret system, it costs twenty five thousand dollars. That's what we charge for it, right? But if you want expert secrets, I'm going to give you guys a, a, a smaller piece of that because I want to give you guys a result. I want you to go through here, have a result like Liz, make a bunch of money, and then hopefully, if I do this right. You're gonna want more stuff from me, okay? If I, if you guys become, you know, launch your expert business, you start doing webinars in your first month. You do what Liz did and do 35 sales at a thousand bucks a pop. You made 35 grand, and all of a sudden, you're, hey, Russell, Russell did this for me in the last two months. What if I join his $25,000 program? What could he do? You're probably gonna to want to give me more money, okay? So that's kind of this this process is is when your system is done, you can go back and and. Long term, again, this is not immediately, but long term, I can take each of these pieces and create new products, new services, and things that I can also sell people to get people into my funnels, get people into my business, give them a result, and that'll then help them to ascend up to my other products, my other services. Okay, and we'll go into deeper that here in a little bit as we kind of map it out with with you guys. But that's why it's important to have these how-to titles because someday I may sell this just as its own thing. And so if it's just like energy hacking, that's hard to sell. If it's energy hacking, how to be how to how to never be hungry, lower, anyway, whatever whatever it ends up being, right? Okay, so anyway, that's kind of a rant that's more long-term thinking. Um, but but for right now, your system just needs to be complete like this. Again, we're creating one product out of your entire system. But in the future, we are going to splinter this off into different funnels and different things, okay? All right. Mike said that I'm effing awesome. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, all right. Back to the presentation. All right. So table of contents, um, and from that table of contents is where we're creating your flagship product. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? That's kind of the goal here. All right, um, let me see something real quick. All right, cool. So we're about two hours in, you guys. We st- we we're doing we're doing good. We're about where I wanted to be at this time, so that's good. Um, I want to show you guys a couple more things, and then we might take a quick little uh, a quick little break. So what I want to show you guys is I want to show you how, like, because there's the conceptual of me mapping this thing out, right? And then I'm like, now I've got this thing mapped out, right? I've got the system created. Like, where do I, how do I, how do I turn this into something people are going to buy? So there, there's a lot of ways to do it, right? There's a lot of ways to turn each of these, each of these ideas, this concept of what you're teaching into, into content, right? Into something that people are going to pay for. Um, probably the easiest way is 
excuse me, is going and and uh, and creating a presentation for each of these, kind of like what I'm doing right now, right? Expert secrets. You guys are, are seeing me kind of do this live on the fly, right? I've got PowerPoints, I've got handouts, I've got videos I'm showing you, teaching teaching this piece, right? Teaching this module. Um, I remember when I first was trying to figure out how to create products. Uh, one of my friends, uh, David Fry, he um, he was telling me that he had a bulldog training product. And he said that he didn't know anything about bulldogs. He just knew that bulldog training was a hot market and he wanted to, to be in that market. So he's like, so I came back and what I did is, um, he's like, I went and I bought five or six books on bulldog training. Okay, kind of like I told you guys before, right? And he said, I took these five books and I hired somebody to go and take these five books and read all of them. So they'd read all the books. He said, from all, all the information you learned from all five or six of these books, I want you to create a bulldog training system. And I want you to basically create a, a system outline, create a table of contents like I showed you guys here. Create a table of contents and said, then I want you, and this is the person he outsources to, then I want you to go take that and turn each of the, those, uh, those things into a PowerPoint slide. And then in the PowerPoint slide, I want you to have speaker notes that kind of explains the core concept of that slide. Okay? And so we just hired somebody to do that. Now, maybe I'll share this with you guys. If you don't know how to do that, there's a couple really good sites where you can literally for for pennies, for, for two or three bucks an hour, you can find somebody who's got a PhD in English, who lives in Romania, who can who can research and create your entire system outline for you and turn it into PowerPoint slides, whatever it is you want to do. Or you can take your own system outline and make them go and find graphics and images and create an entire PowerPoint slide. But what Odesk is, it's kind of like 99designs, but instead of me just going in and posting logos, I can post a project and say, look, I am trying to create a presentation on how to train a dog. Um, I got five five dog training books. I want you to read all five of these books. I want you to create a, a 200 PowerPoint slide outline with images going through a system. And I want I want um, uh, speaker notes in each one because I don't really know what you're talking about, but I'm going to be the one creating this product, and I'm willing to pay 200 bucks for it. And you post that, and you'll get people from all around the world, from Romania, from India, from Philippines, from America, from Canada, from Mexico, all bidding on this. And one person say, I'll do it for a thousand bucks. Next person says, I'll do it for 500. I'll do it for 200. I'll do it for a hundred bucks. Okay. This is how I got my very first software product ever created. Um, I went to a site. It actually just got bought by, by Freelancer. Freelancer is another one. I, I use Freelancer and Odesk a lot, both of these two sites. But I posted, I said, here's the, uh, this idea I have for a product. And, uh, and actually earlier what I did, is, uh, so I had the idea for this product. It was a software product. And I thought it was gonna be really, really cool. So I went to Google, I typed in like hire a programmer or something. And I found this company and I, and I told them the idea. I said, how much would it cost? And they gave me a quote. They said, it cost $5,000 for us to build that. I was like, 5,000 bucks? Like at the time, my wife and I were making about $12,000 a year. So I was like, that's half my salary, half of our entire money for my little idea that I had no idea if it was gonna, if it was gonna work. I was like, well, I, I can't afford five grand. I was like, well, and then somebody told me about uh, the site, the site, and again, freelancer bought it, but a site kind of similar to this. So I went to, I went to the site and I posted the project, same project I'd given to this, this U S based programming company. And, uh, and from there, I got a guy that bid a thousand bucks here in America. I was like, Oh, one fifth of what this other people said. And then this other guy posted like 850 bucks. And I'm like, Oh man, it's even cheaper. And next I posted $500 and then 200. And finally there was this dude in Romania. His name was Cyprian. And he said, hey, uh, I think I can do this project pretty quick. I'll give you, uh, if you pay me 20 bucks, I'll get it done. I'll have it done by morning. And I was like, you know what? I don't have 5,000 bucks. I don't have 1,000 bucks. I don't even have 500 bucks. I do have 20 bucks. So I, I, I like, worst case, I lose 20 bucks. I accepted this guy named Cyprian, paid him the 20 bucks. And uh, the next morning I woke up and he gave me the software product. It worked perfectly. And I was so excited, I gave him another 100. So he made 120 bucks off me. That became my very first software product I started selling. And that product did, I don't know, thirty dollars or $40,000 in sales for me And uh, before we, we kind of closed it down. And that came off of a twenty well $120 investment. Okay, that's what's cool about freelancer.com and odesk.com is you can get people to help you with all these menial tasks that just would drive you crazy and, uh, and get it done for, for insanely cheap. And most of these people, you guys, are so much more talented than we could ever dream of being. Okay, um, I've got programmers in Romania right now who uh, – like if these guys were American programmers, it would be, I don't know, 150, 200,000 dollars a year. And when I first hired them, I was paying them 100 bucks a week. Okay, there's people who have PhDs in English and, and writing that um, would write better than Ames could ever dream of. You can get for three bucks an hour. Okay, it, it's really pretty amazing. So any of these tasks that you guys are like, this is this is confusing for me. I don't know what to do. There's you can go to odes.com or freelance.com and get someone to do it. Okay, if you guys remember the step I told you about, the techie step right here back uh 
back here, right, with GoDaddy Cloud for ClickFunnels. If you're like, I don't get that, Russell's a moron, I don't understand what he just said, you can go to Odessa and say, hey, for five bucks, can you point my DNS from GoDaddy to Cloudflare to ClickFunnels? And literally for five bucks, somebody would do it for you. Okay, so anytime you get stuck on something, guys, just realize that there's people smarter than you who work for so much cheaper than you to get it done, and it's very, very easy, okay? So what I was saying is kind of come back to, to this, right? I create my outline, and then and then I can go and I can create PowerPoint slides from it. I can go and I can I can hire somebody, whatever it takes, but creating kind of this thing, and then when it's done, I can go and open a PowerPoint. I can, uh, there, there's software like, um, uh, I use a product called Camtasia, it's a couple hundred bucks for Camtasia, or you can use uh, um, the ScreenFlow for the Mac, which is really good as well. Where basically you just set up the kit, you just click a button, it'll record your screen. You set up a microphone, and you talk, and you just teach yourself going through your slides. Okay, right now as I'm recording this, I got Camtasia running right now because guess what, guys? I'm not doing this just one time. I'm turning this into an evergreen product that I can sell forever. That's part of why I'm recording. That's why I'm doing this right now because I want this to make me money today, tomorrow, and forever. Okay, the whole goal with this, you guys, anytime you create something and you record it, you never have to record it again. The, the product is done. Okay, Liz talked about it. She created her webinar or created her, 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 uh, her training course and it took her a couple weeks to get it done, but now it's done. She doesn't have to create it again. It's not like an English teacher in high school where you got to teach that same lesson every single day for the rest of your life. You create it once and you're done. Okay, and that's how you do it. You create the presentation, open up Camtasia or ScreenFlow or whatever it is you're going to use, and then just record it people asking for those resources. Uh, Camtasia, you can get at techsmith.com. It's Camtasia. I don't know what they charge for it, but it's worth it. I promise you that. Oh, they got a free trial. So you can go get a free trial and just use it, or you can buy it. So that's techsmith.com for that. So 300 bucks to buy it, or you can get a, a trial and just make all your videos while the trial's still. I think you have a 30-day trial. So you can make your entire course before TechSmith even bills you. Um, and then I think it's screenflow.com for the Mac. Camtasia works for the Mac and the PC, actually. And screen, yeah, screenflow.com is uh, is the the Mac equivalent. Um, but those are those are very very good things to do. Now, if some of you guys don't like doing the video stuff, you don't have to do have PowerPoints either. You can just set up a camera and just talk in front of it. Or if you want, you can do it all through audio. Okay, a lot of a lot of our students don't do any visual. They just set up a microphone and they record themselves doing audio teaching their thing. Okay. That, excuse me, that's a, that's a possibility as well. One of the best ways to do it as well, to get this whole process done and over with, kind of like ripping a Band-Aid off, is, um, is, uh, is call up like five or 10 or 15 of your friends who might be interested in this, okay? I think this is how I'm gonna do life hacking secrets, is I'm just gonna call a bunch of my friends who, um, who keep asking me what I'm doing, how I'm, you know, how are you making so much money, Russell? How do you have so much energy? How, uh, you know, how are you, uh, how are you doing these things? And just say, hey guys, I'm gonna do a workshop in my house. It's gonna be like five or six hours long. It's called Life Hacking Secrets. Um, if you wanna come to it, come for free. It's gonna be awesome. And then I'm gonna bring, set up a video camera at my house, bring my friends and family, and I'm just gonna record myself teaching them my system. And then those videos from me recording it can become the, the, the training that someone gets inside of my system, okay? So there's, again, there's a lot of ways to do this, you guys. It's just kind of sitting down and, and, and just recording yourself, putting that information out there into the world, okay? All right.